In this problem we have a hypothetical restaurant chain that has a 79% success rate in getting customers to return. So 79% of first-time customers come back for a second time. And we have three questions related to a random sample of 50 such customers. Now all of these questions really fall into the category of, of binomial questions where for each given customer we have a 79% chance that the customer will return. So 79% success rate. The first part asks for the probability that x, the number of returning customers out of our sample of size 50, is exactly equal to 37. We could use the formula for the binomial distribution probabilities, but really it's easier probably just to do the calculation in Excel. So we'll go ahead and do that here. All right, if we look under the function browser and then under the statistical menu, there's a function called binomedist. So we'll go ahead and pull that up. And we have to give it a number of pieces of information. First of all, the number of successes. Remember, we want to know 37, exactly that many. The number of trials, so that's our sample size, 50. The probability of success, so this is the likelihood of having a successful outcome. So this is the 0.79 part. And for cumulative, the binome disk function will either calculate the sum of the probabilities up to a particular value or it'll just calculate the probabilities for a specific value. So for that, that's what we want here. We just want 37, so we're going to set cumulative to false. And if we say OK, we see we get a probability of about 0.0894, say. OK, so just to see what the function looks like if you actually write it out, Binome dist, in this case it's 37, 50, 0 0.79, oops, forgot the cumulative part there, false, and we'll squeeze that in there, so just go back one more time, look, 0 0.0894. Okay, the second part asks for the probability that x is less than 32. Now, binome dist can do calculations like this, but we have to be a little bit careful. Since x is strictly less than 32, we need to change that ever so slightly and rewrite it this way. It's actually the probability that x is less than or equal to 31. And the reason is these sorts of calculations is what binome dist will actually do for us. So it goes up to and including the upper value. Since binome dist and the binomial distribution is discrete, there's a distinction between less than and less than or equal to that doesn't exist in the case of continuous distributions. So we want to do the same sort of calculation. So we'll again pull up Excel and see what we get here. So we'll go to the next box. Use binome dist one more time. Okay, this time our number of successes is 31. Remember that's the upper limit. Number of trials is still 50. The probability of success is still 0.79. And now we want cumulative to be true. So what this will do now is add up the probabilities of either zero successes plus one successes plus two successes and so on all the way up to exactly 31 successes. And this turns out to be a pretty small number, 0.00, say, 445. Okay, so once again, just a reminder of why we're doing this, because binome dist does the calculation this way with a less than or equal to when you use the cumulative true option. So if you have a strict inequality like this, it needs to be converted into a weak inequality that actually includes equality. But these are really going to be the same probability, because if x is less than 32, well, it's got to be 31 or less. There's no 31 and a half in this kind of situation. All right, finally, the last part. Here we want to squeeze between two values. And this is a little bit like how we would handle it for the normal distribution. We say, well, this is really the probability that x is less than or equal to 40 minus the probability that x is, well, strictly less than 30 since we have equality. But I'm going to write that instead as less than or equal to 29. Again, for the purposes of setting it up so that binome dist can actually help us. OK, so this is binome disk. Now the cutoff is 40 successes out of 50 trials, 0.79 success uh, probability. True. Okay, so that'll do the first part. And then minus binome disk. Now it's 29. 
comma 50.79 true. Okay, so we can actually go do these two calculations in Excel. So the first one will be 40 successes. 50 trials, 0.79, true. Okay. So this is the probability that x is less than or equal to 40. And now we'll repeat one more time. Last one. So this time we've got 29 trials, or successes rather, out of 50 trials. Still 0.79 probability of success, still true cumulative. It doesn't make, it's a pretty small probability here, but here we want the difference between the two. So finally we'll just subtract. So this cell here, whoops, rather equals. So A3 minus A4, hit enter, and we get 0.6235.